Hello to my Virgos. All right, Virgos, countdown. We are one day away from, from this new moon. That's right. We are one day away from this new moon in Capricorn. The moon is currently in Capricorn with the new moon in Capricorn. That's right. One day away. That number one is very, very powerful. There's a light and dark side to the number one. And what Source is trying to get you to stay away from are energies that have chosen to land on the dark side of the number one. It's a choice when you land on the dark side of one because one out of alignment um, can be boastful. It can be aggressive. It can be cynical, egotistical. It can even turn to bullying others to create a false sense of power. And out of alignment, uh, unaligned number one can, um, can, you can see their repressed feelings can turn to anger and they are unwilling to join forces with others to cooperate with people easily. They prefer it's their way or the highway. Um, they are, they lack initiative and, and they're indecisive. They're lazy. They're low in confidence, easily influenced and swayed by others. Sources saying, hey, listen, step through your portal, step through that portal. That's right. That's new moon in you, this new you, new phase, new moon, new life. Even if that means by yourself without energies that are not ready to go. So that could be you and your spouse going through that portal. It could be you and your kids going through the portal. It can be you and your best friend going through the portal. Or it can just look like you going because you're going through your own portal, right? You're going through your own portal. That's right, the number 11. 11 is a master number. January the 11th is a new moon. The number 11 symbolizes light, L-I-G-H-T. It means get off that fence and take a step into your own light. Some people are not ready to go and you're going to have to be okay with that, right? It's not even by coincidence that the first new moon of this year <clears throat> is in is in is on the 11th. Nothing is by coincidence. And not everybody's ready to step through those through those pillars, right? Step into your own light. Step into your own light. I told everybody this is the year of wealth. Also, Pluto is going to be retrograde for a large portion of 2024. And Pluto is no joke. Purge and renewal. Purge and renewal. So, all right, Virgos. Purge and renewal. Purge and renewal. Some things that you're going to have to purge in order to go through this renewal. Pluto will make you feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster for your life, right? Unless you know what your purpose is. Here's the tower card. If you know what your purpose on this planet is, you'll say, you know what? I'm just having a light little tremor. It's like uh, being in a place where you have earthquakes. It's like a light little tremor. Okay. Whew. Okay. Not a big deal. Let me get back to what I was doing. I was out here listening to my assignment that's going to help change people's lives for the better. But if you don't know what your purpose is, that light tremor from that earthquake when we're going through death rebirth can literally feel like everything is falling off the walls and there's a crack in your foundation. It literally can feel like, oh my God, the house is falling apart, right? So source needs you to operate in childlike faith moving forward. Here we have the four of wands. So you're going to feel like two situations in particular is going to feel like, you know what? A huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. I know what my purpose is and I know that source has me. I'm divinely protected no matter what. Here we have the, the Dame of Pentacles. Here we have the Four of Pentacles. And we also have the Three of Pentacles. That's right. Source is saying to you, it is harvest time for you. Your life is about to change, Virgo. But it's two types of situations that Source needs you to leave behind, for real. Two types of energies that uh, irritate, um, that have drained you, left you in a state of confusion, have burned you out. Um, those types of energy source needs you to have childlike faith moving forward. Stay in your light, stay in your light, stay in your light, because there's some energies where, because either they don't know what their purpose is, Virgos, or they are, um, not even asking source for why they're going through what they're going through. Like, why are things seem like they falling apart? They're just like you asked source, what is the purpose of this? And how am I supposed to use this experience to help change people's lives for the better? They, ha they have the same questions inside of them. 
And if you want to help them, just before you go walk through your portal and say, hey, listen, I know what my purpose is. Life is about to get so much because everything is lining up perfectly for you. And Source doesn't want you to spend a whole lot of time delaying your happiness because other people, all hell is breaking loose in their life. If you really want to help them, if you have access to them, you can say to them in a cool, calm, and collective voice, have you ever considered asking Source what would the purpose of all of your pain of the purpose of this pain what's the purpose in this pain and really you know uh, sitting down and letting source tell you through meditation how you're supposed to use these experiences to help change other people's lives and if they happen to go off on you and cuss you out and, and look at you like you got an eyeball in the middle of your head source is saying okay you you've done what you were asked to do that's how you're helping a person in a cool, calm, and collective way. Just saying, have you ever considered asking source through prayer? What is the purpose of me going through all of this? Some of their jobs are in jeopardy because they won't ask what the purpose of it is. They're too busy focusing on the enemy right within, the enemy within. So, yeah, some of them won't ask. Some of them are steaming hot mad, still going down, 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 still gossiping. Some people are still sitting and listening to gossip. But their life is not where they want their lives to be. And they never stop to ask, hmm. They're so busy looking at your life being at peace and still gossiping and enjoying conversation about you, Virgo. They never stop to ask Source, what's the purpose of me going through when I'm going through? How can I get some of that same peace and enjoyment that Virgo has? Like, hmm, I, I want a little slice of that peace that they have. I want a little piece of that, that internal peace that they have, right? Never stop, stop to even ask. So here we have the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the King of Coins. We also have the King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and also the Four of Wands. Yep. So um, some situations are, like I said, you're going to have a lot of good news coming across your path. A lot of celebration going on. Here we have the King of Coins. Wealthiest card in the deck. So whatever it is that you're embarking on, whether you're writing a book, a song, a uh, uh, screenplay, whatever it is you're doing, Virgo, it's about to make you wealthier. But guess what? Now everybody's going to be inspired. Oh my God. You notice that unfortunately, some people are inspired by people who have a whole lot of money. They can't hear from you when you don't have any money, Virgos. I need you all to hear me loud and clear. They got every, they got, they find fault with every little thing that you do, Virgo, when you don't have where you're not successful by their definition of success, but then all of a sudden money coming across your path, they want to sit at the feet like you, like you, their savior. They want to sit at your feet. They want to glean from you. They want to treat you like you're their Boaz, right? But somehow they didn't remember all this, all the, the Judas energy, all the nightmares they caused you. Here we have the four, nine and 10 of swords. They don't want to remember all of that, right? Yep. So, and you're and you're not you're not there to try to remind anybody either. Just so we're crystal clear, you're not tossing anything in anybody's face. You have just learned how to master your time. That's it. That's the key. They got the same twenty four hours in a day that you have. You decided I'm not entertaining gossip because I already know what it feels like to be on the receiving end of it. I'm not sitting there. I'm not initiating it. None of it. I'm using my time wisely. I'm getting back to work. Yep. Yeah. So when I tell you that you are stepping through that portal without energies who have, they have chosen to land on the dark side of the number one. They can't stand firm on anything. They just like shaky as a leaf on a tree. Here we also have the seven of, um, speaking of leaves, seven of cups. Mm -hmm. for you emotionally you're going to just say hey look i'm not even sweating the small stuff i'm too busy over here celebrating somebody gonna have new love in their lives new and exuberant love in their lives like having a lot of fun you know with that energy and also and a little bit about the energy that's coming across somebody's path just so we're clear for those of you all who want to be in a romantic situation not everybody wants to be but just a little information about that energy. Let's get into that just real quick before we... Because um... it looks like somebody wants to settle down. It looks like somebody wants a new love in their lives. And, um, and definitely some of your exes will try to pull you back away from that. Whether it's 
Let me see if I can get in contact with anybody that Virgo knows. And so I can mess that up. You know how some people, they look and they, they can't, they use a, a large portion of their 24 hours in a day to, um, friend you under a fake page to see if they're and set the notification. Every time you post, they looking, they spend in a large portion of their day looking to see what you're posting on social media. And so if you happen to post somebody's hand around your waist or somebody's hand on your shoulders and they can't really see the face, they zooming in trying to see how many pixels there are. I mean, just craziness, but source is saying to you, you got a new and exuberant love in your life. And if you want to go into, like I said, you don't want to be a part of, you had to learn through the hard way, the five of pentacles of being around energies that have a Judas spirit. Don't do that to yourself again by exposing you and your love online, by exposing your energy and your new energy online. Because um, you already know how that feels. A lot of people, they put themselves right in the, right in the line of fire when it comes to bullying. They got to post them and their new boo online and their new, you know, they got all this identifying information in the background of where they are and people are zooming in, looking at the geo tag. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. You'd be surprised at how people prey on that type of energy. So here we go. Love. Ace of Pentacles. See how this person looks protected in this image right here? That's exactly how somebody's new love is protecting you. They're not posting stuff online. Don't get caught up in that. Oh, they don't post you online. They must be trying to hide you from something. Nope. Something needs to be sacred. Everything doesn't need to be for the world wide web. You don't need to talk to 15 different energies about a new love in your life when you have an internal radar called the voice of source inside of you. Yep. Here we have the two of cups here. Mm-hmm. Soulmate energy. That's right. They soulmate and they're not interested in putting some kind of sex spell on you. They're soulmate energy. They're pouring fresh water into you as you're pouring fresh water into them. None of that drama, you know, that, that drama, right? Unnecessary drama. Seven of wands. That's right. You have great ideas about you. They have great ideas about vice versa, right? And here's the thing about the, the soulmate energy coming into somebody's life. People have misunderstood them too. People have been misunderstood them too, right? And um, people have had the wrong idea about them too. People have tried to burn their reputation just like they've tried to burn yours. You know, so they've gone through a lot of the same things that you've gone through. So that's why it's important that for those of you all who want to be in a new love relationship, to have that established right up front, right? To have it established right up front. Um, because that's what Source is trying to help you to, to see that they've already, like you, they've been in exhausting relationships. They've been in overwhelming relationships. They've been in relationships where they wanted to just give up and throw in a towel. But um, this energy will definitely make sure you feel just as protected as you make them feel as well. So if you've protected people in the past and they've left you vulnerable and unprotected, in their in their universe, this new energy won't do that. They're not there judging you, that kind of mess, whatever. Here we have the uh, nine of pentacles. Yep. So here we have financial independence, but this energy, you see how this person is like cutting off a lock of hair, like this energy right here. Some of you all have dealt with energies in the past that was the opposite of um someone where you feel like okay they're more clairvoyant they see the the light side of the number nine is a person who is on the rebirth side right and your clairvoyance and your psychic abilities have increased and this person right here it this person in your new love life they are not in um they're not they're not looking at it as like they wasted their time in the past and they just like running against a clock you know like a dark side of the number nine like i wasted all my time and my money on this last energy and so on and so forth and now i'm racing against the clock they, they're not in they this is where a new love in your life knows exactly what Their, like I said, their psychic and their clairvoyance have actually been sharpened and increased. 
And so they know they look forward to outdoing themselves, if that makes any sense. Say like they're them versus them. I'm going to outdo the last thing I great thing I did for Virgo. I paid attention to detail. And so I'm out doing the last thing that I did. So then they're operating from a place where I'm not going to put in that much work in this relationship with Virgo because my last, when I did that for my last relationship, the last relationship, it was a waste of time. So their ego, see the number nine right here? The shape of the number nine is a, in the shape of a person with a big head, right? You're, they're not big headed. They're not egotistical and tyrannical because, oh, I did all of this for my ex. So I got to have something. I got to, I got to see this right here. I got to cut off a lock of their hair and I got to put a spell on them and just so they won't leave or go anywhere. They're not into that kind of stuff. They're saying, if anything, I know better now that, um, I know better to outdo myself. So if I'm picking up cues from Virgo, that Virgo likes this, then okay, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to make sure I outdo myself the last time. I want this to continue moving forward, that kind of energy, Virgo. So that's what I'm seeing for you all in a new love. So that's if that's what you want. That's if that's what you want. That's the nine of pentacles. It's going to feel like I said, the person is financially independent and not looking for you to pay any bills. If unless you wanted to pay, they don't have a problem with paying or whatever the case may be. But it's a, it's going to be a totally different type of energy. And let me also say this, too, for those of you all who take death rebirth, literally, it doesn't mean if you're in a relationship with your twin flame right now. If you're with your twin flame right now and things have not been going the best way, just so we're clear. The death means that. I am purging that side of myself where I'm putting so much energy into what energies are not doing, right? And I'm focusing on pouring that time and effort into yourself so that you're taking away that, you know, speaking lack. And I put all this time into it and I feel like I wasted my time. You're speaking lack into the universe moving forward. You're purging that part of yourself. And it's giving them an opportunity for source to download. This is right here. Source to download into their spirit, their purpose to help them on their journey, if that makes sense, you know, for you. So that the new energy that you're getting from the same, it looks like a same physical human being on the outside, Virgo, but the energy you're getting from them is like a whole new person. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, um, in a figurative, in a literal sense, right? You have to decide if you're if you're single and you want to date again, that's what kind of energy is coming across your path. If you're with your person already and you take time away from trying to perfect, because you all are to the perfection side, trying to perfect something outside of something, like in someone else, but you should do this, you should do that, you should do this and that, and started focusing on yourself and you're giving source an opportunity to hit them with, like strike them with lightning, like a lightning call, like a wake up call. Like, hey, Virgo is over here in their vault enjoying themselves. And that lightning strike for them would be like, oh, I need to wake up. Okay, so I want a little piece of that happiness that Virgo is in. That could wake up a, a significant other that's been in a zombified state trying to find what their purpose is just by seeing you because you're not necessarily, the low vibrating um, Virgo would be highly critical, right? High vibrating one is like, okay, analyzing the situation. Okay, I trust that source is helping people to awaken up to their their purpose. So, but for those of you all who desire to be in a new relationship, either or you're getting this kind of person. You're getting a new and improved person. And you happen if you happen to be meeting them at that point in their lives, that's what's like, okay, that's what I prayed for. But you had to first learn how to save yourself. So it's some different it's some situations that have already gone just it's, it's, it's over some situations that's over that you put a lot of time and effort into and sources saying to you, um, now you can move forward and start focusing on enjoying this right here, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. And, um, just staying, steering clear of energies that can't be by, they can't stand on their own. They can't stand on their own without, you know, like I said, it's their way of the highway and they're going to tear up some stuff and keep gossiping and talking about people and, blow torching people's reputation and stuff until they get everybody down in their personal hell. They dragging everybody down. That's what I'm saying. The number one, 
this is a, this will be like reduces to the number seven. You have an awakening that some people can't stand firm on their foundation unless they blow torching and tearing everybody else down, burning bridges and all of that. But what you're learning is that you can, and that's the kind of energy you want to attract. So that's what I have for you all. Make sure you land on the, uh, the bright side of the number one. And that is an energy that is uh, dignified, straightforward, has a penetrating sense of direction. The vibration of one is the one that it represents the masculine aspect of our human experience. It represents a primal impulse. It knows its self-worth. It demands respect. It feels set apart from everybody else. Um, number one's a private they value their solitude. They enjoy spending time alone. And that's what I'm saying for those of you all who want to be in a new relationship and you learn in past relationships that putting your personal business on social media, at least have a conversation with somebody. Just say, you know what? Putting my business on social media and who I'm dating and all of this other stuff, you know, has caused to be have have been disastrous in the past. I don't want that to happen. This time, so I need to protect this. Whether you're with them or not, still protect yourself. So that is what I have for you. I will see you all on tomorrow. Bye.